Hi, and welcome to What's Your Story. I'm Missy Day. I am Michelle Hausbeck. And I'm Missy Severance. And welcome to the show today. And today we have uh, Dane Smith is with us. He was a speaker at last year's What's Your Story. He will be speaking again this year. So welcome, Dean, to the show, and go ahead and hit it. <laughs> Thank you, Missy, for that. Yay! <laughs> Beatboxing on a podcast is on my bucket list, so just like cha-ching, just check that one out. Thank you. There you go. We're here to serve. Yes. <laughs> so it's so good to see you. We've missed your face. I've missed your faces. So fun to be here. Uh, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, we're halfway between last year's and this year's. What's your story? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I've been, I've been thinking about it. Like it's one of those events that is interesting and unique enough that I'm thinking about it. I'm looking forward to it. I love it. Let's do this. Let's go. Awesome. Let's so let me ask you this. So what would you say now after you've had some time to marinate in it? What did you think about what your story and how is it different from other gigs you've had? It's almost as though you, um, like in the room, if you, for instance, I go to personal development seminars and seminars where there's an intent to learn something specific. And when you go to those, if something's not hitting, you can almost have a wall of resistance towards certain things. But at what's your story, it's like the walls can come down because you know that people are just sharing their soul. People are sharing their spirit and their experiences. And you realize like by the first or second spirit, like, oh, this is the greatest thing in the world. This is what brings um, me to hear other people's story is like where you find purpose, fulfillment, like you're comparing your own things with it and learning from it, but without anybody teaching you three steps for success. And so it's secretly, it's like, it's like a covert ninja level, uh, personal development and mental and emotional development, but nobody knows it's happening. That is oh one of the best descriptions gosh. we've yeah. ever heard. Yes, <laughs> ever. Michelle can't even, Michelle and I can't even describe. People are like, well, what is what's your story? It's just, I don't know. Just come and see. Yeah. That's what we've started saying. You just have to come and experience. There's magic that'll happen. Yeah. On paper, it doesn't sound very sexy. You no, know, not at there's going to be a couple people telling stories. You know, <laughs> that's all. Woo yeah. And people are like, there, oh, go. so I have to have something tragic happen to me. Is that it? Or almost died mm. or like lose limbs before I can speak there? And it's like, yeah, no. no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How did you, do, so after you spoke, because you, obviously you had never been there before, did anyone ask you after the fact, you know, how was it? What was it? How did you describe it? Like, like you just did right now or? No, I had to process to realize, because it was so covert and ninja level, it was only like a couple months later, I went, oh no, you didn't. I was like, <laughs> But, but yeah, so I didn't know, I didn't know, but I've, as I've unraveled it. So now that we know if we, pl can we plant those seeds, but then you give it away? I don't know, but I know that it, I, it was hard to find words for it is just like you guys just said, like, it's a thing where, no, you don't understand. It's different than everything else because people come together and it, it um, uh, hmm? they can never, you can't imagine because there's a spirit of a thing. And there's a spirit of this event when you hear people sharing from their heart, it's it's like it's a different something different happens that's outside of logical explanation, in my opinion. I love that. We're totally like stealing all of it. We are. I'm so <laughs> glad you said it on video. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> nice. Because I think I asked last year from the stage, I said, if anybody can tell me how to explain what your story, please tell me. And I, I know Beth said something mm -hmm. and we're like, oh yeah, I like that. And then we immediately forgot what she said. So now we have it documented mm -hmm. that, what you just said. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so Missy, oh, what do you, what, what was your takeaway from Dean? You know, your story 
without sharing it because it is yours, it 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 just inspires you for the fact that it was it was just so raw the way you shared everything, and we really just you pulled us into the emotions, um, and it. it I think the takeaway that I had from just your talk in particular was that I was able to apply the things that you were speaking about to different aspects of my life. Um, and um, I think that's what's just so powerful. I mean, about the whole what's your story thing is that the, the message is there. It may be one story, but everything else, you know, we can we can set them to different things. And yeah. it's, yeah. No, I actually, yours was one of my favorites. I'm not just saying that. I really did. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> but yeah, it, it was pretty powerful. I can't share it. It's not my story. <laughs> you were definitely a fan favorite. People mm -hmm. loved you, yes. talked about you, still talk about mm -hmm. you. And, and in like our circle, people still talk about Bob. Oh, I can't tell you, Dean. I literally two days ago, even you pop into my head at least once a week because what you shared uh, and how you applied it and you gave us a cue to remember mm -hmm. um, how to apply it, which is Bob. I constantly, at least once a week, I'm like, oh, Bob, you know, <laughs> and I remember <laughs> what you said and just try to, you know, seek forgiveness. <laughs> yeah. And, Amen, sister. And not just... You know, I, I first was applying it to like other people, but I had to start applying it to myself. Oh, you're your own Bob. Yeah, because I didn't, I mean, I, you know, you're taught that you should be forgiving of yourself, but yeah, and you start internalizing that, that's a whole nother game there. That's, yeah. that's a lot harder actually. Yes. So what have you been up to since we saw you last October? So I've been, you know, I'm a, I'm a full-time mindset coach and I'm a, I get to speak all around the country about various things, not always forgiveness. Um, a lot of sometimes just personal development or relationship development things. Uh, but I'm writing a book right now and a future best-selling book called, Yay! and it's entitled dramatic pause, dramatic pause, dramatic pause. There you go. <laughs> the forgiveness habit. Nice. the forgiveness okay. habit and it's blending my two worlds of being a forgiveness guy and a mindset and habit transformation guy sort of bringing those together when you think about like what could potentially be one of the top three habits to acquire you know in forgiveness it's like enabling you because usually wherever i go to speak it's people who want to grow who want to learn who want to move forward in something in their life but it's as we all know, it's hard to look, it's hard to look forward authentically when you're constantly looking back mm -hmm. and an unforgiveness does that to you. It's like, you kind of unshackle from the burden to fly free, my friend. And so it's been a joy gathering testimonies and putting the things I've learned over the last 17 years together in this book. So when is that set? Do you have a published launch date yet? Yes, it's going to be sometime around the middle of October. <laughs> so you're telling us there's a chance that it might be at What's Your Story? I am severely shooting for that, yes. Oh, severely. That would be oh, amazing. That'll be awesome. That's amazing. That would be a great rollout. It's a, it's a, the event creates a perfect sense of urgency for me to get, keep it moving forward. Mm -hmm. And I, and it, I believe that's possible. So that would be cool, huh? Wouldn't that be fun? That'd be that amazing. Be so awesome. We believe in you. You That'd can do it. Cool. Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> you can do it. What are you most looking forward to this year at What's Your Story? Well, and this year in general. <laughs> It'll be... Uh, let me think about it to give an authentic answer. <laughs> do, 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 do. I, since I already know it's going to be awesome, now I know it's going to for sure be awesome because I've experienced it. It's like whatever I felt. I felt really at ease last year because you guys helped me to feel at ease, and just right away people are so open and friendly. But to bring in even more, uh, just 
the ability to just soak it all in. And even the participants, like just, I think I'm going to enjoy just talking with people, the attendees and hearing what they're getting just to kind of add even more frosting on the already beautiful cake of experience that what your story is. Cool. So, and I'm bringing my son again and he Yay. really enjoyed his time in it last year. So, uh, the only thing he said was, dad, that was cool, but you didn't talk about me. So oh. we'll have to throw oh. him in there. <laughs> you got to give him a shout out. Shout out. out. Yeah. Vegas, you did. I'd like to give a, my boy a shout out. Yeah, <laughs> you'll have to. Yeah, that was a magic moment. I have to say, when you finished, you came off stage, and your son and you hugged after that. With us, that was a moment for sure. That yeah, that gets me. That yeah, gets me. That got that, us. <laughs> talk about it. <laughs> Did you guys go on the big shot on the stratosphere with no shoes on? So the big shot is the one that flings you up. Yes. yes. That was not open that oh. night, but that oh. night we went on everything at the top of the stratosphere you could go on. I think there was three things. The one that goes, <laughs> and then the one that goes over the building and goes, oh, <laughs> no, it was horribly awesome. <laughs> was That's a good so We're going to do it again this, this year for sure. Like scared though. We're both so scared, but it's so fun. You guys should go on Slotzilla too. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that one's fun. That's downtown. That? That's downtown. Oh. It's um, near the Fremont Street Experience. When you're up, I don't even know how many stories, three it's or four stories, mm -hmm. yeah. and it's a zip line across all the way um, through most of the whole stratos yeah. um, uh, said stratosphere. The Fremont, Fr Fremont Street mm -hmm. Experience, the yeah. canopy that's there. Done. Yeah, that's a yes. that's a fun one. It's Done. called Slotzilla. We like that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Done. Thank you. I love it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You so just what earned you... your keep, Missy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'll go with you guys. I, that was fun. That is fun. <laughs> Screamed the whole time. And yeah, no. So fun. It was great. <laughs> what are you looking forward to most this year just overall? Oh, I'm asking the tough ones. Yeah. Well, because you're like, do I answer from a personal, like a dad perspective? Because I'm, I'm always excited about my kids' sports and summer vacation and swimming in lakes in the middle of a lake when you're in the middle of a lake in a boat and you just jump in. That's like my favorite thing. But uh, just the, the book obviously is a huge thing to, you know, putting so much focus into something and, and seeing it come to fruition interesting story back in 2010 i wrote a book it was my life story and i had an agent can you see me by the way yeah mm -hmm. okay, you look cool. fantastic oh there you are so i wrote a book i got an agent i had a couple offers and i turned them down because it's like those offers weren't good enough for me and then it just all went away and i had i had i was in full-time ministry at the time and i went broke and had to go get a, a real job back and get a real job again that made money. Turns out my ministry plan for money wasn't most wise plan. And so I had that book <laughs> just sitting there and now it's all these years later and it's not the same story I want to tell, you know, it's not the way I want to tell it. So it's interesting how as a teacher or a speaker or even just an entrepreneur, you, your mind, as you grow and learn, like my stories, I would tell it different just because like, I don't want to focus on da 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 I want to focus on da 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 you know? I'm sure that made total sense, so. It does. Yeah, we're with you 100%. We're here, Dean. We got you. <laughs> There's a, and God's timing too, you know? I mean, that's always. Precisely. Mm -hmm. It's Precisely. always perfect. I am thankful that that book did not come out, which is, but, the, but I would have had a total book. I would have so had a book. I've been like, hey, thanks for having me on your show. Here's my book. But... <laughs> <laughs> Had to put you in check a bit, huh? God does yeah. that a lot. <laughs> so new for What's Your Story this year is, so we, um, so we have another keynote speaker that um, joined us for this year. And so he's going to start us on Saturday morning, but so 
we had to add like Friday night. So we're actually going to start Friday night. It's going to be um, not like it was last year. It's not going to be a mix or a meet and greet thing. It's actually going to be the event starts on Friday at five on the big stage. And then um, so we'll have speakers that night. And then so uh, I'm just going to ask you because I ask everybody this. Do you know Jonathan Rumi like as in personally? <laughs> <laughs> or a degree. <laughs> Do you know not. Jesus? <laughs> Do you know who yes. that is? I do know who Jesus is, yes. No, no. <laughs> I do not know who this roomy character is. Who is that? He's the guy that plays Jesus and the Chosen. Oh, no way. That's his name? Oh, gosh. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah, do you know him? <laughs> so we can get him to come and speak? <laughs> It is interesting that when I put a face to Jesus in my mind, I do picture that Jesus' Jesus. face now. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yep, me too. That'd be cool. That'd be freaky, wouldn't it? <laughs> you feel like... I just want to put the program do I stand together. In your glory. What's that? <laughs> I just wanted to say Jesus, you know, as one of the keynote speakers. I'm typing that'd be out the program. Super. That'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I... So we've been asking, Missy's been asking everyone. And even if it's a, hey, do you know somebody that might know him? Jonathan Rumi, not Jesus. <laughs> Reach out. <laughs> or you know, Jesus, too. I know Jesus. <laughs> there will be a lot more responses to that one, though. <laughs> that is true. Anyway, so we're pretty excited for this year. And um, so we built in some time this time for uh, keynotes to have, like, Q&A after. Because we'd like to get a little more, like, attendee um, feedback for the, the keynote speakers, so you get a chance to not only, you know, get to know them off stage, but also they can ask you questions like right there in the moment. I think that's the smartest thing of all time. That is so good. Yes. I love Yay. it. I'm excited yes, about that too. Go ahead. If I'm in a more casual environment and I'm given an hour, I'll say, I'll take 40 minutes. I'd rather do 20 minutes of Q&A because I feel like th mm -hmm. more stories come out in the Q&A answering the questions, but you know you're resonating for the people who are there because it's their questions. So, yes, so you found a you way. Have. Yeah. You have it... 60 minutes. You can use it however you like. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yes. You're... Oh, that was my thing? I wasn't just through? Okay, well then, great. <laughs> I'll do at least two or three minutes that of Q and A. It's gonna be That's awesome! Wow. Yeah, Smart I think it'll movies. be cool because, like, for us, like, people will ask us things about the keynotes after the event, and it's like, I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, and I can't tell you how many times someone will share a story and they don't like they'll say something and then and then move on, and you're like, well, well hold, hold on, mm -hmm. hold on one second, we got to go back. And I love being yeah. able now to say, hey, what happened with mm -hmm. so-and-so? Why were you arrested? Me too. <laughs> mm -hmm. right. yeah. Why were you yeah. convicted of 123 years in prison? Yes, you do ex exactly <laughs> the question I was thinking. Oh. We have a keynote wow. speaker that every time she speaks, like she never answers the question that we all want to know the answer to. <laughs> no way. Which I kind of love and I kind of hate at the same time. Right. You know? Right. Like, come on. That's a great idea. I think that's going to make it like, even better. You found a way to make it even better. Good job, Miss Ease and Michelle. Yay. Miss Ease Thank and you, Michelle. <laughs> so are you still looking for, I saw your thing on Facebook where you were reaching out and asking people to connect with you if they have a forgiveness story. So can you talk a little yeah, bit absolutely. about that? I'm now open for forgiveness stories. Call anytime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just getting people's testimonies and their stories about it, uh, about their own forgiveness journey, whether it's for, you know, forgiving themselves or forgiving another person and what you find. Now, I already, this thing, since I, forgiveness is something I talk about a lot, you realize that people get to forgiveness in so many different ways. It's, it's so not clear cut, even though it could be in a frame like, if it was a spiritual thing, it could still be dozens of, it's so in fascinating to me. So it's almost like it's, there's a few key components to forgiveness in my experience for sure. But there's all these other very helpful tools 
and somebody might find on the second tool like that's it that's all i needed and they're they're on their way to total freedom whereas somebody else finds it over here so it's fun it's been really fascinating like wow you just had that one epiphany and then everything changed like wow geez that would be a boring book if i wrote about it on your story all you have you so <laughs> different folks different strokes and trying to find yeah so it's been really neat so how do people share that with you how are you asking people to yeah you... thanks for asking <laughs> no did you want to keep going no, I mean, well, no, how can, are you asking for people to share it? Are you collecting more currently? I am collecting more. Okay. If you're watching this right now and you're hearing my voice and um, I'm collecting testimonials for my book, I can't promise I'm going to put yours in the book and, and I can totally change names, of course, but I know that I, it, there's value in sharing your story. I don't know if you guys knew that. What? Wait. Wait. <laughs> There's what, value in sharing your story <laughs> and there's value for me in, in hearing it, you know, so I would love if you have a story, you'd be willing to share and maybe it's used, maybe it's not, but either way I get to read it and you get to share it. So it's a win-win. Uh, that'd be awesome. You can email me. You could email it to me at Dean at Dean Smith coaching.com. Dean at Dean Smith coaching.com. Who is the website with the bomb? It's Dean at Dean Smith coaching.com. So, there it is. so I think a part of your 60 minutes at what's your story needs to just be you breaking out and doing some bebop. <laughs> Entertain us. Yeah, yeah. yeah, why haven't you done that before? So right? <laughs> I would stand up, everybody. You might have chairs. to, actually. It I think so. Mm -hmm. I think so, too. Yeah. So it's is so, there a... You know... Oh, go ahead. No, 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 no. Go ahead. No, I need you to finish. <laughs> You know, after I speak, usually there's a feeling of significance in the room. Like it's, it's like, okay, even though, you know, it ends happy, there's still, everyone's dealing with their own bobs in their life in after hearing. And so it's like, do you do the beatbox party before to get them loose to listen? Because afterwards you're like, I'm, you're playing with my emotions, man. <laughs> but afterwards you can like beatbox about Bob. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. Bob. Right? There you go. Bob. Yes. Bob. Bob. Yeah. <laughs> I love how easily that comes to you. It's just oh, I really love good. it. Bob. 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 <laughs> you need t-shirts. Yeah. You need t-shirts. It needs to be Seriously. on the back so you can just turn around and be like, Bob. <laughs> Bob. We'll be your backup dancers. We'll be like, Bob. <laughs> It's on. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, oh. This is going to be a whole new you. level of watch your story. <laughs> We're going to get the party started, y'all. It's going to be crazy. Yeah, That's I right. want you to see. I want to see Jesus up there. <laughs> be boxing. Be boxing. Be be with Bob. Bob. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, me dancing on stage with Jesus would that be like a life highlight for me? You know, like, get that idea. I'm so Everybody. Jesus, guys. Come on. That needs to be on your uh, checklist now. That was so Your bucket cool. list. Yeah. So yes, pray I that agree. Up. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, add that one. That's awesome. Thank you. So Thank if you. people good. would like to reach out to you for um, speaking or coaching or all your fabulousness, how would they get a hold of you? Probably best at dean at deansmithcoaching.com. Dean, yeah. Just my website, just my email, and you can check me out at deansmithcoaching.com or my email at dean at deansmithcoaching.com. <laughs> the B-Box so version of that is, is much better. Email. Dean Smith? Dean Smith. <laughs> dean it's Smith such an original name. It just blows people's <laughs> minds. It's very unique. Well, I am so glad to see your face, and I'm thrilled that you're coming back for What's Your Story again, and I can't wait to see what you have for us. And... Um, so I hope things go well for the rest of the year and I will be praying for your book that'll yes. be ready in October. I want to watch you sign my book that I'm going to purchase at What's Your Story. Yes. Yes, that would be really <laughs> cool. Let's make that happen. We're going to yes. bring that vision to fruition. Mm -hmm. Hey, I want to say thanks for having me. 
Missy, Michelle, and Missy. Thank you so much. The three Dean, M's. Dean, Dean, and Dean. Dean. Yes. Thank you, Dean. Appreciate you, ladies. Thank you, Dean. I can't wait to see you in October. Love you guys. Bye. 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 And thank you for joining us today for our What's Your Story podcast.